Hey guys, this is your boy Ralph, and uh, welcome to another YouTube uh, video. Today I have Vid Sekofato. I'm sure you have seen some of her videos. Um, yeah, she's definitely one of my favorite uh, YouTubers. So basically, she studied computer science. Um, this is a varsity uh, student interview, but she's already done. But anyway, she can just take us through uh, what she went through when she was studying um, computer science, right? Uh, so Sekofato, welcome. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> yeah, we are excited to have you as well, right? Um, so basically, before we get into it, uh, background check, um, you know, before you got into university to study computer science, um, what, like, how was your life? What were you doing before? Did you look into programming before or anything like that? Like, how did you get started before that? In your metric results, right, so how was that? <laughs> Okay, so I have a bit of a story when it comes to that. So um, in around 2014, when I was like 14, 2015, I used to have a blog where I'd share about like fashion and like makeup and just random stuff like that. And from yeah. there, I saw people, like, oh, people have really cool blogs, but mine is kind of like boring. So I kind of wanted to figure out how to make my blog nicer. So then that's when I started out learning HTML and CSS. And yeah. then from there, I found it interesting. And I was still in like grade nine. So um, in grade 10, I was like, okay, I'm definitely taking IT. So then I took IT in grade 10, where I started learning Scratch. So we started with Scratch, which I wasn't a fan of, but you know, we have to start somewhere. Yeah. And then we moved on to Delphi. And then once I was coding in school, I really found it interesting. And I knew that I wanted to continue afterwards. So in terms of my matric results, <laughs> well, um, I think I did pretty well. I think my average uh, was around like 70%. Oh, um, so yeah, I remember I do have, I got 78% for IT. <laughs> so that kind of made me sad because I really wanted that distinction. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then I didn't do well in physics. So my physics mark, my final mark was about 53%. But, <laughs> but yeah, but. Yeah, but do but they really do they really need physics? Do you really need physics to do something like that? Computer science. Uh, some some vot some varsities do look at physics if I'm not mistaken. And even where I studied uh, at Tux to choose some of like the extra modules, if you wanted to like continue with physics or chemistry, then you needed to have I think above sixty percent uh, oh. for. Yeah, so some varsities do require it or depending on which um, modules you want to take. So for me, I uh, ended up doing geology in my first year because I didn't want to continue with like physics or chemistry. Oh, okay. And my marks didn't allow it. Okay, so wait, how long was the, the course? Um, the... Uh, so I studied uh, computer science at the University of Pretoria and it was three years. Three years. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. So, for so someone now, they they don't really know what computer science is about. Um. Uh, you know. Uh. How can you define computer science? Your own definition, not the textbook definition. <laughs> From based on what you've done. Yeah. So I'd say computer science is like, you know, coming up with like instructions and programs to kind of like build like bigger things or to come up with solutions to pro to like problems so you know breaking the problem down into smaller pieces and then coming up with the instructions to solve those problems so that's just in my like own words <laughs> yeah okay cool okay um so how was it though like overall the the whole degree how was it was it hard was it easy it was, was it there was a lot of mess <laughs> first year there was a lot of math and I think for me personally it was hard because I throughout my whole like school career from like grade one to matric I never like struggled in school it was kind of like you know I kind of just did my homework and then I'd pass and do well so it was kind of like you know a breeze and then in varsity you got to a point where like it's a lot of work and it's moving fast and then for the first time I'm like oh actually I have to sit down and like after everything that like, go through the work I've been through so it was a bit challenging so it was 
like very hard there's like math because i think we have like so much freedom in varsity like no one checks if you're attending your classes and those yeah. kind of things and it's like the whole new world so now you're excited to be here but then you also like have your work to do so it's like a yeah. lot of new things at once but yeah it was challenging in my whole like three years i did fail two modules in the process wow. but yeah but i'm here now so yeah <laughs> at least you made it out <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, yeah. do they have physics though? Do they, do they have to do anything with physics? Uh, <laughs> well, no, no, none of them have to do with physics. They actually both uh, computer science modules. One of them was um, operating, operating systems and the other one was compiler construction. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. 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 I've, I've heard that like... I've heard that like a lot of people say it's the programming part that's difficult when you're when you're doing uh like software engineering or IT or something like that. It's, it's the programming. I think, um, I think my problem was uh, I would just like learn from the textbook and want to like know the practical work with like without too much practice you know so i think it's about finding a balance with both so making sure that you're learning all the theory but you're also you know doing the work practically to kind of like get a better understanding because for me the best way to learn is by doing so it's just trying to find a balance between the two oh okay okay that was yeah. my next question <laughs> finding a <your> balance <laughs> do you do you really have like a study life balance like you know juggling fun and and studying do you have a balance or it was all oh, books 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 otherwise you you know you'd mess up yeah. in fact i think i pretty i think i pre had a pretty good balance <laughs> especially like uh my first year you know i was like okay i need to have a social life i'm in varsity but i did you know kind of push school because that's my like priority and that's why i'm at varsity you know so i tried my best to have a balance i think i had like a good balance i guess the part where i didn't really have a good balance was my final year because with like you know the whole pandemic and i was at home so it's yeah. kind of like most trying to pass and <laughs> get this degree yeah um, to, talking about the pandemic so in your opinion do you think it made it difficult for for varsity in general i mean the whole experience i think it made it a bit difficult especially um because my final year was 2020 so we just had to like go home so everything is all new like you know they weren't like you know systems put in place for like distance learning and you know i didn't sign up for distance learning i wanted to like go to campus and go to the classes and it's so like easy to fall behind when you're just at home and you're like uncertain of like what's going on in the world like i'm like is my degree gonna matter next year are we still gonna be alive <laughs> so it's like yeah, all these, yeah. Like, you know Changes, but then you also have like stress of like trying to complete all your practicals or your tests exams and everything yeah uh, yeah okay so there's someone out there probably wondering right um yeah. well, what is required i mean we, we did speak about the physics but you know what is required during the time that you went well, what did they yeah. want maths did they want you know yeah, what, most most of from what I've seen, they want 60% uh, or more in math. And I think other varsities also require, I think, 70% in math when you're doing computer science and applied mathematics, which oh. I guess <laughs> makes sense because you're going to be focused on math. But yeah, uh, it's mostly 60% and up for maths. And then when you're learning in English, um, some varsities require you to have 60% and above in English because it will be taught in English. So yeah yeah okay so well in the in the scenario that like you know you don't really do well in maths um is it true that you can like do like an extra year i don't know like so maybe you, you didn't do well in the required subjects right but you still want to do the, the same degree is it true that you yes you well can... well in my experience so what i've seen people do is kind of like in their first year they will uh, sign up for a different degree, which kind of has uh, most or some of the modules that like computer science has. And then if they do well in those, then they can change their degree to computer science. For example, oh, nice. um, if you apply for a degree that has like calculus and some of the computer science modules, and then you do well in those, then and you get all the requirements, then you can change your degree. But I personally don't have any experience with that. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to ask this, but how did you get into the YouTube space? It's, it's, I know it's, it has nothing to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just enjoy creating content. So as I mentioned earlier that I used to have a blog, so it all started in like 2014. I like uploaded like a funny dancing video with my cousin and I thought it was yeah. funny. Then I did another one and I got like a thousand views and my mind was blown. I was like, oh, a thousand views. <laughs> yeah, this was like in 2014. I was like, wow, there's so many people see my video. <laughs> and I just enjoyed, um, you know, creating. I really enjoy like like reading blogs, watching YouTube. So I'm like, okay, I also want to do this. So I started, you know, uploading videos. And like since in, like 2014, I've been uploading. Like it was mostly inconsistent then. I'm, mo I'm more consistent now. But it just comes yeah. from just me enjoying creating and consuming content. Yeah, it's funny that you started from dancing eh, up to like finances <laughs> and easy. <laughs> yeah, so are you gonna? I saw this thing on your uh, on your Instagram, like it's to do with I don't know, learning to code or something. Like you reshare it. Is it like a? Are you teaching to code or something? Like yeah, um, I currently have a company with uh, two other co-founders. Yeah. So the company is called Easy Code, and we basically teach coding to people from like the ages of eight upwards. Uh, yeah, so just coding virtual lessons that are broken up to just make it simple to understand and fun. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, you you just I don't know how, but. Yeah, you finished all my questions without even without me asking you. <laughs> oh, <I'm so> sorry. <laughs> but anyways, um, for someone who doesn't know you out there, um, social media plugs, where can they find you? All right, so you can find me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and it is um at the Tsukhofazo on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, then YouTube, it is the Tsukhofazo. Okay, so are you teaching physics and dance on TikTok or? <laughs> <laughs> no, on TikTok, I'm just, I'm just living my life. <laughs> I'm just living my life on TikTok. It's the most random stuff, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys. I, I don't really <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you heard it from her. Uh, it was, look, it was a pleasure having you. Like I said, I'm a big fan of you. So thank you so much for showing up. Cheers, guys. No, thank you so much. Cheers. Bye. -bye.